Hello, 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 everybody. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I am forced to record one more part because apparently I cannot save in this part. So I chose a terrible place to end the last part. So that means I have to record at least 30 more minutes of this. Maybe at least. So, where did the Crescent Moon come from? So that is obviously answered right here. Um... As you can see, on this left ear... She has such a petite ears among the beautiful hair. Like a little pink shell. Oh, what's that? There's something dangling down from her ear. Yes, that's an earring. Wait, look! It's a crescent moon! Ah! There can only be no doubt, surely. So we're trying to say, where did the crescent moon come from? We'll say her yes! right ear. Miss Pavlova, I noticed that on your ear, even though you have a metal earring, the decorative part seems to be missing. The little link holding it must have broken, I suppose. Oh, what? But looking at your other ear, I notice a crescent moon. Ah, oh, I don't believe it. Now, the missing crescent moon was found in the ship victim's clenched fist. Clearly, there is only one logical conclusion. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Naruhudo? Yes. Miss Pavlova, Mr. Sogi must have grasped that crescent moon and pulled it from your ear. Perhaps just moments before he fell to the floor. In other words, last night in Mr. Sogi's cabin, you witnessed the moment when the victim fell with your own eyes. In fact, you were quite literally at arm's length from him. But then the question is, why did Mr. Sogi do that? Why did he pull your earring from your ear and hold it in a clenched fist during his final moments? Oh no. Angel? No one can protect you now. Please, Miss Pavlova, tell us the truth. Last night, what did you do to Kazuma? Ugh. Oh, I think we finally broke her. She's finally going to tell us the truth of what happened. <clears throat> when I think about everything that happened yesterday, it was too much. Running away, the fish running away, the fishing boats in the middle of the night, trying to climb onto the huge ship. And then when I was at last in the cabin and I could relax after this horrible long day, Darka, wait! I couldn't believe it when she disappeared through the ventilator. I tried to call her with a little whistle. I tried waving her favorite toy. But nothing worked. Darka would not come back. Oh, so he opened the door. What are you doing out here at this time of night, Inspector? Oh, sorry, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he mistook someone. I thought it was a friend of mine. Look at that, perpetual wind blowing his bandana. The young man from your country, he was very polite and kind. He helped me to find Darka and he promised not to tell anyone. But then, when I had my friend in my arms again, I was going to leave the man's cabin. Just a moment. Sorry, but... Oh, yes. I'm sure I know your face. Have I seen it somewhere before? Ah! Ah, of course. You're Nikolina Pavlova, aren't you? The Russian ballerina. Huh? No! I don't know that name. My heart nearly stopped when he said that. He knew who I was. How could this man from a land far away east know a Russian ballerina? Yes, I saw your performance in Japan. The beautiful of the ballet made me a deep impression on me. But, what are you doing on this ship? I'm sure I read that your ballet company was performing in Shanghai at the moment. 
can't fool him. I have to tell him the truth and hope he doesn't tell anyone. I have no other choice. Hmm, I see. So you've run away. Please keep your, my secret. Don't please don't tell anyone. Give me a moment. I could use another opinion here. He's gonna pull that cord. He's gonna tell the captain. No, he was gonna call for me. Why do you think I could trust him? Then it happened. Everything at once. It was only a second, but I felt like forever. Wait, I shouted, and then... Darker jumped out of my arms and the young man's feet. And... As he turned around to look at me... Oh! I... I pushed him. I don't even know why. I don't know why I did it. I was just so scared. And... I had to stop him from telling anyone about me. And that's when you went to fetch help. From Seaman Stroganoff, who was on duty in the passageway. I heard Nina cry out and thud on the floor, so I ran to her. She was standing at cabin door, shaking like leaf. She looked at me, said, Help me, Biff. If you find out, I will be... Please, I have nowhere to go. So you decided to help. And that's when you arranged things like Kazuma's cabin made it look like it did. So that no one would suspect the passenger in the cabin next door. Yes. I went into cabin and I looked around to make sure there was nothing to show Nina was there. And then I found a stowaway in wardrobe, still sleeping. Right, that's when he found me. So you worked out the plan to lay the blame on the stowaway. I closed wardrobe doors and put strange paper sign. Luckily for me, that's the only reason Susatsu started to believe me when I started, said I was innocent. I dragged young man's body to good place and used ink that was spilling in, to write on floor. I wrote so that person would found, uh, who found him would look inside the wardrobe and find stowaway. And tell me, where of the glass bell? It was by my feet, so I picked it up. I see. But it was dark in the cabin and I didn't notice the other half. Then Angel went back to her cabin and I finished the job. By pressing the emergency alarm button in the passageway. Yes. <clears throat> According, the SS Bureau did indeed come to an emergency hut a little after 2 a.m. Thus inciting the bolt on the cabin door to slide shut, creating a locked door mystery. There's still one thing I don't understand, Miss Pavlova. What? Well, you said that you told Kazuma about the fact that you'd run away from your homeland. And it's because you were worried he was going to tell the captain that you pushed him. Isn't that right? Yes. But even if he had pulled the bell cord and called for the captain for the ship, aren't you friends with every member of the crew? Why would that have been a problem? It was what he said first that made me scared. What he said first? What are you doing here at the Samonite, Inspector? Oh. I'm sorry. I thought it was a friend of mine. He said an inspector was his friend. Meaning me. Who was supposed to be acting as his bodyguard. I thought that if police knew about me, they would arrest me. So before you could pull the bell cord, I... I... May I stop you a moment, please, Miss Pavlova? It's just... Doesn't doesn't seem to make sense. I mean, was Mr. Sogi really going to pull the barrel cord? I don't know. What? What did you think, Naruto? Well, I'm not Kazuma, so I can't know for certain, but... He was a man of his word. 
If he told you he wouldn't give a secret away, then he would have, wouldn't have done it. No, he was walking over to it. He was going to pull the cord. He was going to make them send me back. Well, Mr. Naruto, the day's work is not yet done, it seems. There is one more deduction to make. What? Another deduction? Yes. What action was the victim really about to take in that moment? Can we determine whether the young boy's, young man's gaze was directed? First, consider the victim's location within this cabin. That's easy, I remember everything. Yes, yes, blah, blah, blah. I think I know where this is going. So this is how the cabin looked at night when Ms. Pablo visited Kazuma. Yes, exactly how it was. Are you ready then, Mr. Naruto? Yes. If there's one thing I learned today, it's that a simple gaze can reveal all manners of truth. Not only that, in order to protect the draw to the right conclusion, you can't afford to be out by even a little when you're following the gaze where it lands. So when he turned away from Miss Pebblova, what exactly was Kazuma looking at? Oh, that's sad. He was looking at the wardrobe. I wanted to present that. <laughs> ah, the wardrobe. My wardrobe. I was in there at the time, of course, sleeping soundly. If only I hadn't eaten that trick and was laced with drugs. If only he'd woken me up. Then maybe this tragedy would have never happened. Take that! Considering everything that happened last night, certainly it may have looked as though Kazuma was going to ring the bell cord. Yes, however... What is directly beside the bell cord? The Rodra. The wardrobe? Yes, and more importantly, what was inside the wardrobe? The man's great friend, sleeping soundly. Miss Pavlova, please, think back very carefully. W what were Mr. Sogi's exact words last night? Give me a moment. I could use another opinion here. Another opinion. Yes. But not from a member of the crew. No. Mr. Soge intended to consult his close friend on the matter. To see if between them, they might be able to help you in some way, no doubt. Oh no. Sadly, we can't know the truth for certain now. It's too late for that. But I wish you had made sure of what Mr. Usogi was looking at. Things may have ended very different. Would it may have ended very differently if you had. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Miss Pavlova. I want to thank you for finally admitting the truth. But unfortunately, the truth is a man lost his life because of what you did. And that will never change. I hope you'll never forget that. I'm sorry. Really, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so unfortunate and very dissatisfying. What have I done? It's all an accident, misunderstanding. It's so dissatisfying. And so at long last, the mystery surrounding the tragic accident on the SS Bureau was finally laid to rest. Gosh, what's gonna happen now? 9th January, 7.14, 8pm. That's his very first class cabin passenger. What will happen to Miss Pavlova now then? Once we reach Great Britain, she'll be handed over to the British police at Scotland Yard. What about the fact that she ran away from Russia? Won't the Russians try to re repatriate her? Apparently, the English detective can speak to the immigration office to sort all that out. Mr. Sholmes can do that? So she won't be going back to Russia then? No. I don't think so. Even if she wanted to return to the future, in the future, I doubt she'll be able to. She ran away, so now she's in exile for life. I see. I'm sorry. See, Mr. Shurganov? I wanted to help our angel, no matter what. But, 
I didn't think about you and how and of how you lost a good friend. I will go with Nina and will give myself to British police. It's kind of you. In the meantime, thank you for letting me go free again. Kazuma's death feels such a like a waste, but Well, I do what you well do what you can for Miss Pablo, won't you? Da. Well, I'm afraid you need to pack now. We're due to arrive at Hong Kong tomorrow. As much as it pains me, I'm going to have to hand you over to console the arrange your passage back to Japan. Yes. I did stow away after all. I couldn't really expect any different. So, you should get back to your cabin now. Oh, it's, everything is so unfortunate and very dissatisfying. It looks like my study tour to Great Britain is over before I even begun then. To think that only days ago, Kazuma and I were laughing together about how we'd uh, tear up in the streets of London. That seems like a distant memory now. Oh, what's that? Is it someone weeping? Oh, she's here. I didn't even notice. Susatsu-san. Now, Huda-san, I didn't know you had returned. Oh, um, well, I haven't been back long. Inspector Hosanaga just told me I should pack, you know, ready to leave the ship tomorrow and all that. I still can't believe this has happened. I can't believe that someone's life can be over just like that. Susatsu-san. He had such grand idea to visit Great Britain. So many dreams. And now they've been cruelly taken away. Just as he has. I thought I could never forgive the person responsible. But now, now we know the truth, that was just an accident. This is a silly series of mishaps. It's too much, Naruto-san. It's just too much. Yes, I know. I wish there was something I could say. Inspector, my duty was to see Osagi safely to Great Britain. But I failed. And because his two closest friends' great pain and suffering as a result. I've let everyone down. And I will do anything to make up for my terrible blunder. Nobody blames you, Inspector. And I'm free again at least- <laughs> Why do I have cuffs again? <laughs> Surprise, Mr. Naruto! Oh, please. What is the meaning of this? Oh, a trifling matter. Simply that in my head, I think I shall always picture you as wearing those shackles. Without them, the balance seems all wrong. It's distracting. Sorry? So I decided to restore them. For old time's sake, we shall say, you are a stowaway after all. Oh, please, no, don't. He thinks this is funny. Well, at least there's some sense of humor in this. Mr. Sholmes. We do appreciate all your assistance. I'd like to thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Not at all, not at all. And though it's a little late, may I offer my sincere condolences? The loss of your companion is truly heart rendering. I hope that you will be able to fulfill some of his aspirations in his honor. I'm afraid that won't be possible. We shall be disembarking to the next port in Hong Kong. We have to return to Japan and make a full report about everything that happened. What? Wait a minute. It's just me that has to go back, isn't it? I mean, I was a stowaway. The terms of the study tour were negotiated by the Department of Justice in both Great Britain and Japan. It was to be one lawyer and one assistant. 
was to be? In the light of Mr. Sogi's unfortunate death, I'm afraid the study tour can no longer go ahead. Oh no. I don't care for me, but... Poor Sasato-san. My dear fellows, the majority of our problems have an extremely simple solution, you know? All you require is one lawyer, and the study tour can continue, sir, say? But there is no one else with the necessary qualifications, Mr. Sholmes. We know of no other lawyer. Qualifications, you say? Any qualifications obtained in your country will be a little value in Great Britain, I'm afraid. Oh, but... But anyway, the voyage to London will still promises a good month of time. Ample opportunity, I would say, to find yourselves another suitable lawyer. Yes. Um, Mr. Sato? Yes? Do you think, perhaps, I might be able to do it? But you're not a lawyer, Mr. Naruhudo. Oh, unless... Are you studying law? No, I'm not, but... Wait, what have you been studying? I'm sorry, in that case, I don't think there's even a chance it could work. But as I said, there's still m more than a month before we reach England's shores. Isn't that right, Mr. Naruhudo? Yes, I have a month in which to study, to learn what I must to become a lawyer in Great Britain. Mr. Naruhudo? That's ridiculous! Are you seriously suggesting anybody could learn all of that in just 40 days? There's only one way to find out. I would work my fingers to the bone, Inspector. Every single day, wouldn't let me try. And if by the time we reach Great Britain, I haven't learned enough to be recognized as a lawyer, I'll take whatever punishment is deemed appropriate. But why put yourself in such a difficult position? For Kazuma. He said that there was something he had to do in Great Britain, and that he had, would sacrifice anything to make it happen. He was passionate about it, and I can't let all that passion just come to nothing. And anyway, it's, it's for my own benefit too. I will become a lawyer. I have to. What do you say, Mr. Sato? Think it's a wonderful idea. Thank you. Alright, so that's how it happens. So, what does your bespeckled inspector friend say? Are you serious? <laughs> one lawyer and one assistant. The numbers are indisputable. No, 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 that's madness. Yet fascinating, wouldn't you agree? Fascinating. Duty and rules are the dual routine of existence that we all up to whore. Give us interest, give us fascination. Speak for yourself. Besides, Qualifications are no measure of a man. What matters is his character, no? And you've witnessed ample evidence of this man's exemplary character today with your own eyes. From the early hours of this morning until the very moment now. Despite contending with the passing of his close companion, and despite the accusations of guilt, this man has shown resourcefulness, intelligence, and above all, courage. Very well. I think... I'll think of a clever way to word my report to the Department of Justice. Inspector! After all... I did just make a promise, didn't I? I said that I'd do anything at all to make up for my shortcomings here. Oh, thank you, Inspector. If you excuse me, I must pay a visit to the Captain's quarters, I think. I need to discuss what to do next, and how to best make my report. Are you really prepared to attempt this, Mr. Naruhudo? Yes, I'm going to try. I wonder, 
Would you consider teaching me what I need to know? Everything about being a lawyer? I would be delighted to help you. I am a judicial assistant after all. Thank you. And Mr. Naruto? I'd like you to take charge of this. What? Me? Are you sure? I'm sure. It's what Kazuma-sama would have wanted. Its name is Karuma. It's a great sword that's been in the Asogi clan for generations. Very well. I accept. I'll treasure it always. So then, Mr. Sato. It seems we'll be working together for some time to come yet. It will be an honor, Mr. Naruhudo. Gosh, that book of hers knows everything. And for the, 40, the next 40 days, I, shall grant, I shan't grant you a single minute of freedom. We shall fill in every spare moment with study. Yes, that's exactly what I need. But before we begin, I have an earnest favor to ask you too. Goodness, what is it? Please throw me to the ground. Sorry, what? Three times. What? I should never have doubted you. You're Kazuma-sama's closest friend. Of course, you would have never done anything to hurt him. That should have been obvious to me from the start. But I allowed suspicion to get the better of me. And no matter how upset I was feeling, I was completely unforgivable behavior. No, no, you were in shock. You just found out about me stowing away and the cabin door was locked from the inside. No, I won't let you make excuses for me. Whatever the circumstances, I should never have thrown you. And not just once, but five times. Uh, that number keeps creeping up, doesn't it? Please, you must. Just take hold of me and throw me. Do it. Don't even think about it. No, 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 no. I don't even know how. Not even in my life. Very right, Miss Naruto. It isn't skills one acquires without considering training. Oh, Mr. Sholmes. I observed your throwing to think several times with great interest. I confess I was most impressed. <laughs> when did he see that? I presume that would be a form of Japanese wrestling. Oh, well, in a way, it's not wrestling, but my own interpretation of an ancient jujitsu technique. Apparently, it's called the Susato Takedown. It leaves your head swimming, believe me. Hmm, how beguiling. I am a practitioner of the combat arts myself. I am somewhat accomplished boxer. There he goes again, dancing around again. I wonder if you'd be so kind to in instruct me on the techniques of your arresting throw. Yes, I'd be honored. Then let us not dally. Demonstrate, my dear madam. Oh, of course. He's going to be on the floor now, isn't he? Oh, no. Don't demonstrate on me. Sorry. <laughs> Why? Why? As you can see, you can throw from the abdomen. Oh, yes. Arresting indeed. And that is what you term the Susato takedown, is it? Actually, no. That was a Susato squash. Sorry, what? She did something different. <laughs> In my groggy state of consciousness. A scene from an evening recently spent with Kazuma flickered into my mind. Karuma? That's right. It's a prized sword that's been passed down through generations of the Sogi clan. I can't believe you managed to get permission to bring it with you. I mean, taking a katana on a study tour is more than a little irregular, surely. Surely. A Japanese man's sword is his soul, Ryunosuke. I can't be parted from my katana. Karuma guides me. Truly believe it. So its name compels its wielder to slice evil in two. That's not the, not that you would need much compelling <laughs> on that subject. There's something very important that I have to do in Great Britain, and I'll sacrifice anything to make it happen. 
I appreciate you seeing it through with me. Of, of course I will. Whatever it is, I'll see it through the end with you. I knew you wouldn't let me down. That important thing he had to do. I still don't know what that was. But I'm going to see the place for myself and work it out. In Great Britain's capital, London. Oh, is this the end? End! Oh my goodness. It's so sad what happened. It's so dissatisfying too. Oh, it's so, so heartbreaking too. Man, I, that is where we're going to end it here for now. So... Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until then, guys, I will see you in episode three. Uh, the Adventure of the Runaway Room, I believe. So until then, I will see you all later. Goodbye.